So for both these galvanic and electrolytic cells, you're going to have to analyze each situation differently. Uh, but this will give you a general understanding of the concepts that will apply. So first of all, is the mathematical explanation. Uh, this is not my favorite as it's not technically chemistry. Uh, it's a derived equation, a bit like Hess. Um, uh, so what you've got here is if you've got, if this one here, the M1, uh, if that decreases uh, or if that increases, uh, you'll both get the same situation where Q will decrease. And if Q decreases, um, what you're going to get is this will be a smaller number. And so the electro, the amount of electricity going through will increase. And same with vice versa. If you, um, if you decrease the M2 or increase the M1, so we're uh, increasing one, decreasing M2. So we're making this much larger, then the, uh, the voltage will decrease. Um, and so you can see that hopefully in the diagram. Uh, a much better explanation for the year 12s, if you're in year 12, um, is and you've done equilibrium, is just to look at the M1. So if you decrease uh, the M1, that's going to push it in this direction, which will increase the voltage or increase this. Uh, if you do the opposite and you decrease the M2 uh, or increase the M1, it's going to put it in the other direction. Okay, a little bit more of a cruder explanation is uh, concentration gradients. Uh, so you know it wants to do this and it wants to do this. Um, and so for instance, if you decrease the M1, uh, there is an increased concentration gradient. Uh, uh, so decrease M1. Uh, and if you increase the M1, well then the, de the concentration gradient isn't as high, so the tendency won't be as great to go across. Uh, and um, it works a little bit better, the uh, chemistry explanation for the other side. Uh, and this one's uh, more on year 11 um, chemistry. Uh, and so that's uh, rate of reaction and collision theory. So if you increase the, uh, the M2 here, uh, there'll be more collisions. Um, and so the rate of reaction will increase. Uh, isn't so isn't as clear using the um, uh, concentration gradients um, for this one because uh, this one is uh, this one works better because it's moving away uh, and this one works better it's it makes it's a little bit clearer for rates of reaction because it's moving uh, to collide and react rather than uh, pull away um, so it just uh, intuitively make, makes a little bit more sense. Um, this one, of course, is the one we're looking for because we're looking for year 12 SEs. Um, this one is, is sort of, you know, I would, in, I would put um, all four in there if I were you uh, and even do it within one, eh, maybe even to, with one paragraph, you can um, say this quite clearly and concisely. Um, so just moving on to electrolytic cells. Now, I haven't done two metals. I've done uh, this because it's a little bit more common. So uh, you will probably use a lot more of the uh, galvanic cell arguments if it's a metal. Um, this Nernst equation doesn't apply because it's for galvanic. Uh, so I've redone this one. Uh, and in this situation, uh, decreasing um, the electrolytes will always uh, cause a decrease um, in uh, the products that you're going to get and vice versa, increasing it will increase it going by Le Chatter's. Um, so basically, uh, maybe the diffusion, I'll just skip, but you could think through that yourself um, because this one is much, much clearer. So if you increase um, these particles, then uh, there's going to be more collisions because there's more increase in the concentration. Uh, and so that'll increase the um, these reactions that you're getting here and you'll increase the products. Um, so uh, that'll increase uh, decrease the internal resistance, no doubt and uh, decrease the amount of voltage needed. So you don't know if that's going to turn up on an exam question. It certainly is going to be there for your SEs if you do in galvanic electrolytic cells. Uh, so make sure you put a like on the video. Uh, thank you.